This weekend, we celebrate Endangered Species Day, helping us appreciate and spread awareness about the efforts being made for animal conservation. Now, Brendan is live all morning long at Roger Williams Park Zoo, where there are more than 30 threatened species, and he's going to introduce us to some of the animals. Well, we'll say good morning to you, wild animal. How are you, Brendan? <laughs> Yes, the most wild of them all right here, Michaela. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, he was outside to start the show. He said that the sun was coming out. Why is he inside now? Well, we are in a remarkable place right now, and I am here joined by, of course, our good friend, Dr. Jeremy Goodman, Executive Director of Roger Williams Park Zoo. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's always great to see you. Now, before we get into the celebrations happening this weekend, I mean, we it's not every day that people get to come in here. Tell us where we are and who this guy is. So, uh, this is Morobi. He is our uh, matchy tree kangaroo. He's a male. Um, he's our uh, breeding male. Um, they are endangered and uh, this is uh, Endangered Species Day and uh, we're celebrating it this weekend and uh, um, there's less than 50 of them uh, outside of New Guinea so he's very important as far as the breeding population um, because um, they are endangered in their native habitats in New Guinea. I think he likes the camera. He's staring directly into the lens. And I think he learned that from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you can see these guys are beyond cute, um, but it, it's not enough to just be cute. Cute doesn't save you, um, you know, from deforestation and uh, uh, habitat destruction. So we really want to make sure people are aware of, of the work that we do uh, with the tree kangaroo conservation program and uh, all of our support to uh, uh, tree kangaroos in the wild. He really is beautiful and remarkable and shaking something off right about there. Perhaps he had a workout earlier this morning. I don't know. But when you see people coming in and learning, I'd imagine imagine that they are, they have lots of questions this is their opportunity to really learn about what they can do to preserve it is and you know part of it our zoo's mission is we, we uh, empower people to join us in saving wild places and wild animals. So, um, you know, that's really what we hope to do is when you come visit, all your visits do support conservation, do support saving wild animals. And, you know, we hope that when you leave, you have the tools to uh, do your part and make a difference. Absolutely. And uh, like I said, it's not every day that someone gets to come in here and get this up close and personal. But there, there is an opportunity for the people who come in to get fairly close and to really see what's going on, right? It's one of the beauties of, of a zoo our size is uh, an exhibit like this, you can really, you know, see the animals up close and personal, um, you know, not necessarily be inside the cage, although, you know, in our petting yard and other places, uh, you, can, you know, with our giraffe feeds, you can get uh, right. really close, but, um, you know, you can really see LaRue, uh, who's our female, and Morobi uh, um, up close and personal, as well as all the other uh, animals that we're trying to save here. Right, and this guy responds very well to food, of course, similarly to myself so we weren't sure if he was going to give us attention but you're just feeding him bread today right right so bread is, is a very special treat uh, he eats a lot of browse a lot of leaves um, fruits vegetables and uh, other special diets all of our animals are on uh, highly nutritious uh, diets here so this is a little treat for him because uh, uh, he we weren't sure how he's gonna behave on camera but he's a, he's a star <laughs> I feel the same way about me at the road show dr. Goodwin well great to see you as always yeah we look forward to uh, showing you some other animals yeah we're gonna take you guys this is just the tip of the iceberg we're going to be seeing lots of cool stuff right here this morning. You don't want to miss all of the fun things. We'll have even more details on what's going on here for National Endangered Species Day and so much more. For now, back to you. This weekend is Endangered Species Day and a great opportunity for people of all ages to learn about the importance of protecting the more than 30 different threatened species. Now, Brendan, Roger Williams Park Zoo, where that is their main mission. Good morning, Brendan. Hey, hello once again, Will. You know, at the top of the show, I told you that the sun, it was getting brighter. It was trying to peek out just a little bit. It has now disappeared. I think at this point, the sun is becoming an endangered species. But uh, we hope that it's back out tomorrow. It's supposed to be a glorious weekend just in time because tomorrow, Dr. Jeremy Goodman, you, sir, are celebrating National Endangered Species Day right here at the zoo. That's right, we are. And uh, that's a day, actually, we wish we didn't have to celebrate. We just wish we could celebrate Species Day and just celebrate all animals. But uh, endangered species, it's really important that we do our part to make sure that they're here for forever uh, and don't disappear from this planet. So we have a, a whole slew of activities uh, highlighted by um, the winners or, or the finalists of our art contest. Uh, we did a uh, statewide art contest uh, where kids uh, K through 12 uh, um, 
drew and painted all sorts of endangered species and interpreted them. Uh, so we're really looking forward to uh, displaying that over in the big backyard area. And then throughout the zoo, we'll have other uh, professional uh, photographers and artists uh, also uh, showing their wares and, uh, you know, and talking about, uh, you know, photog photographing animals here at the zoo. Sure, lots of things happening for the entire family. Absolutely, there always is. As, <laughs> each and every day here at the zoo, which is awesome. Now, talk about where we are now. These guys back here hanging out, doing their thing. I see one of them there. What do we need to know about this? So these are our white cheek gibbons, and they are endangered as well, and uh, mostly due to a number of things. Uh, habitat loss, uh, their forests are being taken down. Um, they're being captured for the pet trade, believe it or not, which obviously they do not make good pets. Right. Um, and then uh, they also are often eaten in, in the, in the bushmeat crisis, so um, it's the triple threat oh, with these guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they, they, are, they are not monkeys. They are apes, um, and they are true brachiators, which means they kind of swing from, you know, branches from hand to hand and uh, really incredible animals. Uh, they have this this really loud call that usually first thing in the morning you can hear it throughout the zoo. Uh, they bond for life so the male and females sing a duet together actually. Where Look at they... this performance we're getting. I, we weren't sure if one of them was going to make their way over but we're getting the full show right now aren't we? Right so these are various uh, puzzle treats, uh, puzzle feeders that we do. Our keepers uh, like to uh, make sure that the animals aren't only physically healthy, but uh, mentally healthy, and they kind of uh, look for their food throughout the day and put out various treats and, uh, and toys. So uh, you can see her uh, exploring, uh, um, pulling out all sorts of nutritious, uh, you know, tidbits to eat. So, um, you know, just uh, our keepers just do such a wonderful job here for not only our endangered species, but all of our, our animals here at the zoo. And sure. uh, um, you can just see how how engaged they are. And here comes uh, uh, the male, uh, Juan, who's swinging right over because if Ari sees something good, then uh, he probably wants to have it as well. It's now become a two white cheek gibbon show. I love it. We're seeing it all right here. Well, Dr. Goodman, thank you so much for this knowledge. This is really remarkable what you guys are looking at. We're going to have much more as the morning rolls on here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. We will learn even more and we will introduce you to some additional endangered species. It's eye opening, it's enlightening, and it's all happening right here at the zoo. Back to you. Hey guys, we're having a blast out here as we do every time. We're lucky enough or fortunate enough to be at Roger Williams Park Zoo. Of course, tomorrow they are recognizing Endangered Species Day. Lots of things happening for the entire family. And I am joined once again by Dr. Jeremy Goodman, who I think has grown a few inches. I don't know. He's a little higher than me up on this little ledge here. But right now we are looking out, gazing out upon a red wolf. And she is absolutely beautiful. She is. And we are so lucky to be able to have red wolves on this planet still. They were down to only 14 animals in the entire world left and thanks to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and, and partnerships with captive breeding and zoos uh, we were able to build those populations up there's only about a hundred in the wild that have been reintroduced so that we're not out of the woods at all yet but um, an incredibly uh, highly endangered animal that is, is just so beautiful. Now when she saw us over here she kind of popped out was getting her morning exercise in did they respond well to visitors I mean when she sees somebody up here is that her cue to come say hello, so to speak? So um, wolves are very curious, they're very yeah. intelligent animals, and um, yeah, she does check new things out, and uh, you know, uh, we want to make sure that she wasn't uh, stressed uh, by you know, our, our being over here, and uh, it was really curiosity more than anything else, and uh, yeah, our, our animals are, are accustomed to uh, you know, large numbers of visitors, and it doesn't seem to bother them. Most females do get a little curious when I roll on up. That's not true at all, but let's get back to the issue at hand, you know, endangered species day tomorrow really recognizing this and it's an opportunity and so many things are happening we alluded to some of them earlier for the families but it's a great way to come out get educated and to realize just how important this is and just how vital these guys are it, it really is and you know hopefully you know people learn about some of the success stories as well like bald eagles yeah we have our bald eagles on exhibit and uh, they were endangered and they were on the verge of extinction and and through all of our efforts uh, by eliminating DDT and, and really preserving habitat and whatnot uh, we brought them back from the brink of extinction and now they're thriving. So uh, there is hope, and, and we can do this if we all work together and uh, and save these species. Absolutely. And of course, the zoo, we were just chatting before we went on, open seven days a week, ready to welcome families, children of all ages, right? That's right. We're always here, rain or shine. Hopefully, we'll have a lot more shine. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. So come on out, celebrate uh, all of our endangered species, and, uh, and learn on what you can do to help them. I like how our segments this morning have half turned into weather reports. <laughs> we're just so anxious for the sun, that is what we are. We'll 
Medical Doctor Goodman. It is always a pleasure. Thank you very much as always. Thanks for having me. All right, everyone. You will want to come out and, you know, really recognize Endangered Species Day tomorrow with the zoo. It's a wonderful thing that they're doing. And, of course, any day of the week, really, the zoo is the place to be. It's so much fun. We will have these entire segments up at roadshow.com. If you'd like to review anything, back to you.